Adolf Hitler, one of the most notorious people to ever walk planet Earth. He was the leader of the Nazi party and became the dictator of Nazi Germany. His actions would cause the start of the Second World War, which led to tens of millions of deaths around the world. Hello everyone, welcome to Top 10 History, your hub for historical lists and amazing history facts. Today we're going to look at 10 facts about Hitler's early life. Make sure to watch until number 1 because the number 1 fact about this notorious dictator might shock you. Before we begin, if you're new to the channel, make sure you subscribe to the channel with notifications on because we release a new historical top 10 list every single day. Also make sure to smash that like button. Alright, let's get right into the video. Number 10. Many of his siblings died. Adolf Hitler was born on April 20th, 1889. Adolf's parents were Clara Pulsel and Alois Hitler, who had a total of 6 children. Hitler was the 4th child to his parents but he was the first one to survive childhood, which caused his mother to closely protect Adolf since he was the first to actually survive his youth. Adolf also had two step-siblings living with him, who were children from his father's second marriage. Adolf's relationship with his family was a difficult one, as he had a very abusive father and a mother who was overly protective. One of his brothers ended up running away from home to escape his abusive father, and another one of his brothers died of illness the latter of which deeply upset Hitler and reportedly made him act very strange from that point forward. He moved many, many times during childhood. Hitler was born in a small town in northern Austria called Branau am Inn. At the time, Austria was part of the Austria-Hungary Empire, although where Hitler was born was very close to the German border, so a lot of ethnic Germans inhabited this area. At the age of three, Hitler's family picked up and moved to a town called Passau in Germany, which was near the more well-known city of Linz. While living in this area, Hitler picked up on the dialect of the people living in this area, which would have a permanent effect on his speech and accent in the future. The family returned to Austria and moved to the city of Lending, and then they eventually picked up and moved again to Hatfeld. And Hitler was only six at the time, so the family moved three times within a three-year period. However, Hitler remained in Linz after his father retired, which made it so the family didn't have to move around so much anymore. He had disciplinary issues. Hitler attended a public school in Visham called Voskiel. Hitler was known for his intellect and he was very popular with the other children. Although he had this going for him, he refused to obey the rules in the school and often got in trouble for disobeying the school's very strict disciplinary guidelines. This made his father very angry and his father would often punish Hitler very severely as he had a very short temper. And it was usually done in the form of beatings and other forms of corporal punishment. This quickly made the relationship between Hitler and his father very sour and is a very likely reason why Hitler grew up to be so hateful and quick to anger. His mother on the other hand was very protective towards Hitler, being that he was their very first child to survive infancy. Because of this, unlike his father, Adolf was very close to his mother Clara. Number 7. The Death of His Brother We sort of mentioned this before that Adolf had several siblings, most of which died in infancy. One of his brothers who survived past infancy was his brother Edmund, who was very close to the young Adolf. Unfortunately, Edmund contracted measles and passed away in the year 1900. This had a tremendous impact on Adolf. His grades started to plummet, he began to withdraw himself from everyone else, and suddenly became very introverted. He lost all of his confidence in his formerly outgoing personality, and his poor relationship with his father worsened even further. His father wanted him to be a customs officer just like him, but Hitler rebelled against this and purposely received poor marks in school so this would never happen. Hitler's true passions was becoming an artist, so his true desire was to go to art school rather than go into politics like his father. But knowing who Adolf would become, we can see the irony in this. He was crazy patriotic. Although being born in Austria-Hungary, he was very close to the German border and the area contained a lot of ethnic Germans. Throughout most of his life, Hitler considered himself to be German and was crazy into German nationalism. And this was not unusual at the time, since many Austrians were very displeased with the Austria-Hungarian Empire and the monarchy that was slowly losing its power and control. Hitler's allegiance to Germany was likely also influenced by one of his high school teachers, Leopold Posch, who was another dedicated German nationalist. The same teacher also taught Adolf Eichmann, who would go on to be one of the most notorious officers in the Nazi SS, a man who would be one of the key organizers of the Holocaust. Over Hitler's early life, he grew more and more hatred towards Austria-Hungary and he became more and more drawn to the Germanic people. He dropped out of school. 
Eventually, Hitler's father had passed away, causing more strife in Hitler's life and his performance in school to worsen even further. His mother, who was very supportive of the young boy, allowed Hitler to drop out of school at the age of 16, where he enrolled at the Rieskuehl instead. Shortly after, he ended up leaving the school without any actual plans. He soon applied to art school at the Academy of Fine Arts in Vienna. However, his applications to art school were rejected twice, most likely due to his poor grades and performance in his previous schooling. He considered applying to school for architecture, but he was told that he lacked the necessary credentials in order to get into that sort of program. All at the same time, his mother Clara was slowly dying of breast cancer, which must have been incredibly stressful on the young Adolf. He was homeless. As just stated in the previous fact, Clara was dying of breast cancer and eventually passed away at the age of 47. Hitler was only 18 years old at the time. After dropping out of school, applying to art school, and then getting rejected twice, and now with both of his parents dead, Hitler had nowhere else to go. He remained in Vienna after getting rejected from the Academy of Fine Arts and became a drifter in the streets. He used up all of the money that he inherited from his parents within two years and then he was forced to live in homeless shelters and became a drifter. Traveling from homeless shelter to homeless shelter, Hitler made what little money that he could selling paintings and postcards on the street. It was without a doubt one of the hardest moments in Hitler's life. Number 3. The Origin of His Political Beliefs While he was still young and impressionable, without any parental guidance now, Hitler could still be molded into whatever type of person. But with such a hard life leading up to this point, it is not really a shock that he would eventually turn to extremism. While living in Vienna, he grew to hate the multinational vibe of Vienna, since people who live in the city came from all different parts of the world. The mayor of Vienna, Karl Luger, was an outspoken anti-Semite and would often distribute anti-Jewish propaganda and stereotypes and claim that they were enemies of the German middle and lower classes. Hitler looked up to the mayor and bought a lot of the things that he said. Another politician that Hitler looked up to was George von Schoenerer, who was another outspoken pro-German anti-Semite. It was while in Vienna that Hitler most likely developed his disgust and hatred towards Jewish people. He attempted to serve in the Austro-Hungarian army. After finally inheriting his father's estate, Hitler moved back to Munich in May of 1913. However, as the First World War broke out, he was conscripted into the Austro-Hungarian army and was sent to Salzburg to enlist in the army. However, after undergoing the medical assessment, he was deemed unfit for military service due to not having an optimal body for combat. This was to Hitler's liking, as he had no interest in joining Austria-Hungary's army, as his one true loyalty was with Germany. Hitler also was disgusted by the racial diversity that made up the Austrian army. When World War I officially broke out in August of 1914, he quickly enlisted in the German army. It was Hitler's chance to serve the country that he loved, and it also gave him a sense of purpose, which was likely a breath of fresh air after being a street drifter for several years. He was a war hero. Now just to be clear, this list and this fact in particular is in no way an endorsement of Hitler and his ideologies, as we do strongly believe that Adolf Hitler was one of the most evil men in history. That being said, his experience in the army was a great experience for him. For the first time ever, it felt like he had some kind of purpose in life, and he was finally able to find discipline and camaraderie, and it was also a chance for him to channel his German patriotism. Although he was rarely on the front lines, he fought in several battles such as the First Battle of Ypres, the Battle of the Somme, the Battle of Arras, and the Battle of Passchendaele. He was wounded in combat, and as a result, he was rewarded for his bravery with the Iron Cross. After being sent to the hospital after being temporarily blinded in a gas attack, he woke up to learn about Germany's defeat in the First World War. He blamed the Jews and Marxists for the loss of the war. After the war, he went into politics, and if you know anything about history, you probably already know what happened in the second half of Hitler's life. Did these facts shock you? Make sure that you subscribe and turn on notifications so you never miss out on more amazing historical facts and much more. And if you like this video, check out this next video on the 10 empires that almost took over the world. Alright, have a great rest of your day, and I'll see you in the next video.